key pedestrian entrances to the government headquarters were um, blocked overnight. Escalators and footbridges were, were barricaded. Uh, so I, I think you're seeing the presence of, uh, of, of police there uh, as day breaks here. And perhaps you can enlighten us a bit more, Tom, some people in the area reporting that some of the protesters actually want to be moved on like this, so they don't look weak. They want the police to become heavy-handed. Well, some have said that we're, we're in a time of a face-saving operation for both sides now, where people are looking for an escape route without being seen to be uh, uh, retreating or backing down. Um, but it was certainly uh, a, a, an escalation last night in, in that the uh, road to the rear of government headquarters was repeatedly invaded uh, by pro-democracy protesters, a key thoroughfare uh, that gives access to the main legislature. Um, protesters wore protective goggles and helmets, uh, dragging barricades into the underpass. Uh, as you said, around 7,000 police have been deployed around the city with pepper spray and batons deployed. I, I noticed dog units and the tactical unit uh, were also on hand with uh, multiple injuries, uh, certainly on both sides. But uh, as you say, I think this is somewhat of a result of a deadlock within the movement in deciding what to do next and whether to escalate or to occupy new areas, uh, as well as a deadlock between the, the protesters and the government who, who have not um, budged uh, on this issue.